Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Malia. Welcome to another video, you guys. Today we are talking about solo traveling, traveling in general. I love traveling. If you can't tell by my YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, literally, if you've had a conversation with me, I've brought up Spain, I brought up traveling. We all know, we're sick of me, but I'm gonna keep sharing stuff. <laughs> in the last four years, from 2020 to now, I've traveled to 10 new countries, 20 new cities, and I've experienced so much and I'm here to share a few tips for you guys but I also want to share just my experience on like how I started traveling and blah 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 this is your sign to take that leap buy that ticket and have the experience of your life okay remember that your money will always return but experiences do not okay always keep that in mind I have gone on so many trips like I don't know what it is but I have no problem spending my money on traveling because the experiences are always worth it and I get so much out of it that in my mind it's kind of priceless it's not it's expensive but like it doesn't have to be okay and as much as i love traveling with my family or my friends solo travel will always hold a special place in my heart and i think that more people should definitely give it a shot it might sound scary you may think oh i'm too old for this or it's too late i'm too far into my career i don't want to leave but let me tell you that is not the case i have met so many different types of people traveling even just when i was in colombia at my spanish school i was one of the youngest people there and there were people in their 60s still traveling still solo traveling trying new things out and you never know who you're gonna meet you never know how it's gonna change you so just give it a shot because there's someone out there that's probably exactly like you but they decided to take that leap and buy that ticket and they're probably having the time of their lives for today's video you guys i will be talking about solo travel and just like in general i'm gonna give a couple tips and advice at the end that has helped me but if you want more of a specific video on solo traveling just let me know i'm gonna be very general so just leave any questions that you have in below or if you want to hear more about my experiences that's also fine i am always willing to share because i love talking about it <laughs> also my glasses are glaring with the window right now but we're gonna have to deal with it because i can't see anything and i got all my notes so you're gonna have to deal with it okay before i get more into the topic of today's video i did want to talk about but you guys now i want to get into some tips and advice that i have if you're starting on your first solo trip or even if you just want to travel more in general by yourself these are just some like tips and advice for you guys so first for solo traveling i will say to start small that is what i did so the first place that i went by myself was valencia in spain i know i took a train and it was maybe a couple hours it wasn't far at all it was maybe a full 24 hours in valencia and i just wanted to see how i liked traveling by myself if i could do it if it made me really nervous or anxious and after i did that little one day trip i was like wait i really like this but i always suggest for people to start small because if i would have gone to budapest by myself that would have been a leap that would have been a jump and i think that would have made me feel a little uncomfortable but just being still in the same country as spain i knew i was a train right away i wasn't far at all i was only going to be there for one day just to see how i liked it i just liked to kind of ease into things so i think that's a really good tip to take away from me but i recommend doing like a staycation or just somewhere kind of close by to where you live and just trying it out just to see how you like it first before spending a bunch of money and time going to a whole different country a whole different continent and then you're kind of stuck there and if you don't like it you're like well shit what, what do i do now you know what i mean so i always say to start small and to work your way up from there if you want to just you know hop on a flight and go to japan do it i'm not gonna stop you that sounds amazing but if you're kind of scared and don't know where to start just start with the staycation so i would start with that now i want to talk a little bit about solo travel safety because that is one of the main comments that i will always get on my videos on is it safe were you alone were you walking alone at night did you meet people like what do i have to do with my phone am i gonna get pickpocketed am i gonna get robbed everyone relax please relax first off do your research if you are not researching the country that you will be going to you you already have failed you're already gonna be stressed you're gonna be anxious you're gonna run into things that you didn't 
think about do not set yourself up like that because you will hate yourself later on okay research where you're gonna be keep track of the different areas that you will be staying in or that are around you know how walkable that city is that you'll be staying in know if you need to take public transportation be aware on if you can be out at night alone that's also a main thing especially being a woman like just being out at night in general is already dangerous which is sad to say also i do recommend to use google maps and try to look at the surrounding area of your airbnb your hostel your hotel and kind of just see if there's like small alleys if the place has restaurants or if it's a touristy area just kind of know the area a little bit more before you get there because that will be a very rude awakening if you're not in a safe area if you don't know where you are if you realize you can't walk alone by yourself so kind of just keep those things in mind share your trip your itinerary whatever you have share it with some family members with friends just so they know what you're up to so they can be updated with you flight information the address of where you'll be staying if you have different activities that you're doing just so people can be updated with all of the activities and the things that you're doing like for me i will always send my mom, my flight information, the address of my Airbnb or my hostel, wherever, wherever I'll be staying at. If I'm like on FaceTime with her, I'm like, oh, I'm about to head out to do this walking tour. I'm going to head out to get a bite to eat. Just try to always be updated with people just, you know, just in case. And I also recommend if you have an iPhone, I don't know if there's a similar feature on an Android phone but if you have an iPhone to share your location with your family members with your friends emergency contacts all of those people just once again so they are updated with where you are and what you're doing know the local police number this should be in the same section on you doing research of your destination you should know the contact information of the police because you never know what can happen know the local police number because it may come in handy you never know. I mean, I hope you never have to use it, but if just have it just in case, okay? Secure your valuables at all times. So when you're alone, you don't really have your friends always looking out for you, keeping an eye on like creepy random people that are kind of lurking or following you. I always will keep my phone, my wallet, emergency cash, um, emergency credit cards, all of that stuff in a crossbody bag or like a belt bag and i will always keep it in the front of my body like close to my chest i have never had any issues or problems of someone trying to rob me i think someone tried to pickpocket me a few times but didn't succeed <laughs> always keep your most important valuables on the front of your body and if you don't have it on you keep it in a safe in your hotel or in your hostel or whatever you can use always lock up your stuff in a hostel for sure but don't just have a backpack with you and just keep your phone and your wallet your passport don't keep that in there because someone can easily unzip your backpack while you're not looking even if you're sitting at a restaurant people can just take stuff out and when you're searching around in your backpack and you can't find it someone probably stole it okay so just always keep your important valuables on the front of your body so you know where it is at all times I'm checking my bags all the time also when I travel by myself just to make sure I didn't leave it at a restaurant, I didn't leave it in a bathroom. Just always opening my bag, just making sure that it's there. My last little safety tip for solo travel. I think everyone should do this if you, especially if you post a lot on social media. So for me, as soon as I'm going on a trip, you will see me posting. I am active on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, whatever it is, I will be posting everything. But I delay all of my posts all the time for example when i came back from colombia i was still posting like my coffee farm tour different photos when i was in colombia and people at my job would come up to me and they're like i thought you were in colombia and they're like no i'm just still just posting some stuff a little late i don't care no one needs to know my business right you never know who is watching you never know who is following your every step so i like to post everything so much later so people think I'm at that one restaurant. It's like, oh, actually I was there three days ago, right? You won't be finding me. Someone commented on one of my Columbia videos. This is a nice area where you're staying. Oh, we need to find you. Like come meet up with us at the train station near your Airbnb. Huh? No. Once I saw that, I'm like, okay, people may be keeping an eye out for me because now they know the location of my Airbnb. They know where I'm staying. And they're like, oh, this is like a nice American with money. That's literally what they said. 
in my YouTube. And by the time they commented that, I have already been back in the United States at home for probably a few weeks to a month at that point. So I was chilling. I'm like, y'all not gonna find me. You're not gonna rob me. I'll be fine. But if I was still in Colombia and someone commented that on my video, I would have freaked out. I would have had to change locations. I would not have known what to do. Just post all your stuff a day later. I like to do a few days to a week later just so I'm like not even in that vicinity so people don't know where I'm at. Once again, I could be very paranoid and I know that, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And also, especially being like a travel creator, you know, I'm posting all the time of all the activities, all the details of what I'm doing, but I don't feel safe enough to post it always in the current moment. And I think that is fine. While you're solo traveling, it's just like how to make friends. Like I said, all of these tips that I'm giving you guys are very brief. I can go very in depth and give a lot of details and explanations for all of these tips that I'm sharing with you guys. But I just wanted to make this video very general because this video is already very long and I can see that it's already really long. So if you want like more in depth, like examples, explanations, just let me know and I can post another video for you guys. My last tip will be on how to make friends while you solo travel. A main point in traveling for me is to meet so many different people from all over the world. I personally like to stay in hostels. I will put my hostel link down below. I've stayed in a lot, a lot of hostels. I do want to do a video on hostels eventually. I think staying in a hostel is one of the best ways to meet a ton of people. And a lot of people that travel solo also stay in hostels. There's a lot more opportunities to meet a lot more people in hostels. Um, I think it's a lot more of a social space. Than if you're staying in like a hotel or an airbnb because then you just kind of have strangers that just want to do their own thing some people will maybe like sit and talk with you in the lobby but there's not like a general space where everyone hangs out and plays games and goes out together and just different things like that the first experience of staying in a hostel and trying to make friends is always a little bit like stressful sometimes i've had people come up to me and they've been very extroverted and social and they just kind of include you right away those are a lot of the people that you'll meet in hostels you'll literally just be walking and they'll be like oh hey what's your name where are you from like what are you up to today you want to go to the beach with me like people are just very inviting and friendly and very welcoming which makes also your trip like a lot more relaxing for you because like okay it's like i have people i can hang out with if i want to but if you don't want to hang out with them you can do stuff by yourself and i have to have a mix of that and so in the different hostels that i've stayed at a lot of the hostels will have activities for each night free drinks sometime like a happy hour discount night some of them will have a game night karaoke or like dance party there's a lot of different activities that the hostels will have just so people can meet each other spend some time together there are some trips that i've been on and I'm like my social battery is so low i don't want to talk to anyone and then someone in my hostel room is like hey there's like sangria downstairs if you guys want to like meet some people and like hang out and every time i end up going even though i'm completely dead i have no energy i always end up going and i always have such a fun time and i meet some of the most interesting people i love hearing about other people's experiences with traveling and like their life and just how they ended up in the same place as me at the same time i just think that's just like the coolest thing ever i just say staying in hostels is like a great place to meet people and hostels deliberately set up activities so people can get to know each other so if you're like oh like i'm too shy i'm very introverted i don't know like how to go up to someone and like ask them to like go get food with me hostels got you don't worry you'll be good but in some cases like for me i like to meet people right away you know i like to get to know people so there was this one time i was in venice italy i was staying in this one hostel called on Anda, Anda venice hostel amazing hostel i have a hostel review or like a walkthrough video of the hostel also on my channel if you guys wanted to see it but when i first arrived to this hostel i got my little welcome drink i think i got either like a free drink or like a really discounted drink so i got an aperol spritz because if you're in Italy, why are you not drinking a spritz? If you don't like Aperol, there's other spritzes out there. I got my little drink and I was just sitting down and I'm just looking around at all the people that I could be friends with, right? And I'm looking around and I'm like, okay, we got a family with children. That's a no. We have people working on their laptops. And I was like, hmm, 
no one's being social, no one's really vibing, no one's talking to each other. So I went outside to see if there's like a different group of people. Kind of the same thing. And I realized that everyone was probably just doing work and they're just digital nomads and they had to get work done before actually being social. But I was feeling a little bit lonely and I was just smiling at every person just like, hey, like they would just walk right past me. I'm like, okay, never mind. Um, take my smile back. <laughs> I ended up just going to my hostel room and I'm like, you know what? Let's just relax for a little bit. I'll go get like a bite to eat. And then maybe like when I get back to the hostel that night, I'll meet a lot more people. And so I was sitting in my hostel, in my hostel bed, and I heard this one girl come in and I was like, okay, this is my time. Should I ask her to go get dinner with me? I don't really know. Like I was actually nervous and like, you guys, I talk to everyone. If you know me, you know, I be talking, I be yapping, I be meeting people everywhere. I'm pretty extroverted. So I don't really have a problem with going up to people and just being like, hey, like, what's your name? You know, but in this situation, I was already so nervous because no one was smiling back at me. No one was talking to me yet. And I was like, oh, this is a little bit of a different trip. And once I built up the courage, literally turned around to my bed and I was like, hey, like, I'm Aaliyah. What's your name? You know, doing a little introduction. And I was like, oh, like, would you want to go get dinner with me in like an hour or so? I don't know, like, how long you'll be here for and stuff like that. And at first she was like a little hesitant because she was, he also told me that her social battery was just like drained. And she's like, you know what though? She's like, I could go for some food soon. And she actually ended up bringing um, this Turkish girl that she knew um, with us to dinner. So it was the three of us. So the three of us all got dinner together. And I was like, wow, all I had to do was just say hi. And I'm already at dinner with two different girls. It's already so fun. I'm already meeting people, already like talking about different things. We're laughing at dinner. Like it was so fun. And then we went back to the hostel and then everyone was like playing beer pong, getting drinks and listening to music outside and I was like oh, this is what I live for like I was so excited and it literally just takes one person to say hi even if that's yourself you know just build up the courage and just do it but yeah hostels are a great way to meet people a lot of people have this really bad idea of hostels and hostels are fine you just got to do your research and like I said I'll have a link in my description for hostels through hostel world that is my favorite way to look up hostels because you can see the different ratings. Yeah, so this is hostel world here. Ooh. So today I would want to go to Barcelona. This is what I'd be looking at. And I'd click here. And you could already see that there was a rating. So it had a nine nine star rating. It has 1,331 reviews. You'll get all of the property details and amenities that come with it and also the ratings will be based on value for money, security, atmosphere, cleanliness, staff, location, and facilities. So it's rated on a bunch of things and you can actually like see how old someone is and where they're from as well. So like this person here is from New Zealand and they're the 25 to 30 age range because some hostels may be for like older people or for younger people. I feel like I'm in the middle. No, I'm still young. I'm gonna say I'm young. I am. It's just like a great way to make sure you're safe and hostels aren't even bad, you guys. You just, you watch one thing on the internet and you think you know everything, okay? Just try it out. It'll be fun. Other ways to make friends, I would say doing different activities, walking tours, food tours, um, museum visits, different things like that, that you're with a group of people. And then also, I think a really fun one would be like a pub crawl. I've met a lot of different people on pub crawls as well, but my main advice is to use hostels and you'll be set if you're looking for friends, stay at a hostel. But the thing about hostels is like, you don't have to be friends with people if you don't want to. Like you can just stay in your room and just do the trip that you planned out for yourself. And like, that's also fine. No one's gonna be like, oh, like that girl over there isn't friendly. She doesn't wanna be friends with us. She doesn't wanna hang out. Like that is not the point of traveling. Like no one knows why you're there, what you're there for. So don't worry about it. Don't think too much about it. And the best part about meeting people while you're on a solo trip, they don't know anything about you. They don't know who you are. They don't know what you do. And like, you'll probably share that with them. But I just think it's the best way to authentically be yourself. You're going to know these people for like what? A day to maybe like a week max, maybe. Because people are always moving around. And if someone doesn't like you, literally who cares? You'll never see them again. And so that's like one of my favorite things also about solo traveling is like I'm just authentically myself. I have no worries, no stress. Someone doesn't like me, so someone doesn't like what I'm doing, what I'm wearing, what I how I look. I will not remember you in 
probably a couple weeks like it literally does not matter that is my whole solo travel experience a couple tips for you guys and i also just want to make one little note my mom always says this but you can be alone without being lonely so if you're going on a solo trip just keep that in mind even if you do feel like you're alone there's still tons of people around you even if it's just the locals locals are also like some of the nicest people that i'll meet on a trip because they're so excited to like share their culture and their food and get like tell you so much about like where they're from and all of that stuff like i've had locals help me find restaurants what to order because i don't understand the menu on how to find a bank i was looking for a dang bank in nice france for like in my mind an hour it probably wasn't an hour because i exaggerate but i felt like i was looking for this bank for like an hour and i was going into random offices being like i don't know where to find a bank and people were helping me i wish i could take you but i'm working but i'm gonna give you directions and like even if there was a language barrier they would still find a way to help just remember that you were never truly alone there's always people out there that got you but even if you are by yourself that does not mean that you will be lonely okay that is my whole experience on traveling solo traveling how i got into it some tips for you guys and advice um i can talk about this all day like i wish this was my job because i could talk about this forever and i can't wait to go on even more solo trips and see what else i learn about traveling about myself and just so many different things and i can't wait to meet so many more people and try new food and like I'm not even there yet and I'm already excited about it and there's just so much that the world has to offer and every time I go on a trip it's just it like feels a little peace inside of me I don't know that is all that I have for you guys for today's video if you have any questions or comments or want to know anything else let me know in the comments down below I can always do more videos on this type of information and all of this stuff also check out all of my links that I'll have below. I'll have my Madrid videos listed, my Colombia playlist, so many different things for you guys, so many different resources that you guys can use. I am working on a project that should be out. Girl, I don't even know. I don't know when this project's gonna be done, but when I finish this one travel project, it will have even more resources and advice and tips and so much more for you guys to look out for. But that is all I have for you guys for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to like and subscribe because too many people be watching my videos and not subscribing. Okay, so please subscribe. It helps me. I love talking about this stuff and I would like to make this a job in the future, the near future if I can. Subscribing to me would really help me out with that. And I'm always here to give the free tips, advice, resources like I will always try to help people if I can because I know I love when other people do that for me or just for people on the internet just to use and to see. It's really comforting to have those people and I just want to be that for everyone basically. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.